Hi there, so I'm going to talk about getting started with Svelte.js using Webpack instead of Rollup. So you're going to start by digit Svelte.js slash template Webpack, and then you're going to do name of your, whatever your name of your project is, okay? So put the name here, like Svelte or whatever, okay? And that's going to clone it into there, and then you're going to change directory into the project that you have and npm install. And that takes a while, so I just went ahead and already made one called Webpacky. Um, so I already ran this command, but you'll need to do that yourself. Okay, so now I have my Webpack project here. If you do npm run dev, then you can localhost 8080, and there is your Svelte app. And then if you want to deploy it, you can npm run build. And that will create your um, your build ready to publish. And then if you want, you can use something called surge npm install surge globally. You can do that. I already did that, so I'm not going to do it again. And then you can do surge public. So you do npm run build like I did before um, up there. And then you do surge public. And you do surge public because public is the directory that it builds to. So if you come and look at your project, oh, it's all. If you come and look at your project like this, um, you'll see, oh, it's also like that. You'll see you've got a public right there. Can you see that public? So it builds to public. That's why you do surge public. So I'm going to do that again, surge public. Whoops, that's not how you spell it. And then you're going to create a accounts felt master if you don't have one at gmail.com password something super secretive okay and then that'll send you an email and now it's ready to publish and voila you've got permissible dash desk great name go there and you'll see your hello world has been published so that's how you do it. Um, this is all documented in, if you look up svelte.js um, slash webpack, or just what, what svelte.js webpack, do that. And you come right here to this first one. That's going to tell you everything you need to do. It also suggests using now to deploy your web uh, page, but I was getting some weird error thing, and this was better. Okay, so um, that is how you do it, and so good luck and have fun.